giving up the big plays kind of uncharacteristic for, for this defense? How do you guys rectify that going? Uh, you know, coach always makes a big example of got to make sure that the ball doesn't go over the top of our heads. So, you know, sometimes, you know, it all works together with rushing pass rush. Sometimes we got to be able to quarterback standing back there a little longer. But as a DB, we can never let the ball go over the top of our heads. So giving, a, giving up goal balls is just something that we got to make sure that we take off our tape. Joe, how much will it help when you get some of these guys back? Like why? High spin, that, that might not happen. Uh, it, it helps out a lot. Like I said before, rush and pass work, rush and coverage work together. So um, having those dudes out there helps us tremendously with having us just only rush four and um, knowing our four is going to get pressure on the quarterback. Um, so, you know, just having TJ, having Highsmith, having those guys work out there, being able to get after the quarterback, making him feel uncomfortable, putting that clock back in his head will help us out a lot. But at the same time, it's no excuse for us to let uh, them catch the ball over our heads. We should make them comebacks, digs at the most, but never, never uh, go balls and posts. Uh, I'm optimistic. I'm um, waiting until Sunday. Uh, you know, those dudes, they're going to just be fighting their tails off until they can get out there. So I know, I mean, if they can be out there, they'll be out there. Um, make sure we let everybody on the defense know exactly where he's at. You know, he's not just a, hey, Joe, you go over there and uh, good luck. <laughs> Coach T said that in the meeting. Just making sure everybody knows where he's at. Um, he's a tremendous player and him playing with Aaron Rodgers for this long, they have a great just chemistry together where they can just, you know, they find each other all the time. So just making sure we know where he's at at all times, making sure that uh, possession downs, he's the guy that gets the ball. He's the guy that gets the ball all the time. So just literally knowing where he's at and uh, just studying tape, knowing where they like to uh, get the ball to him. What'd you say? Uh, no, he's the defense. He's all 11. He's TJ's guy. He's D. Bush's guy. Everybody's guy. We just got to make sure we know where he's at. I'm not following. Joe, when you talk about being better in situational football, mm -hmm. some of the plays you guys have given up. What, how do you guys focus on those moments and you know being prepared for those type of situations? I mean, we go over it all week. So, you know, Wednesdays are an extremely important day situation of football. We go over it again on uh, Friday on the winning edge meetings. It's just mainly for like the secondary defensive line. We know on third and shorts, on fourth and the money downs, what they like to go to. What are the, the studying on tape, you know, situational football, third and shorts, uh, fourth and shorts, where their money downs, where they really like to go with the ball. So us studying that stuff and knowing when we get into those tight situations, where they like to go with the ball and um, just working on our film study and being aware of it when uh, the plays happen. Joe, when you, when you study Rodgers, his arm talent, is yeah. it comparable to anybody else you see? I mean, how do you kind of assess what you can do with his arm? Uh, Aaron Rodgers, so before Patrick Mahomes, obviously, I mean, he's still he's still my favorite quarterback uh, ever in the NFL, uh, Aaron Rodgers. His arm talent is unbelievable, the way he can throw the ball, he can move. Um, it's literally, when I say arm talent, throwing receivers open, putting it in places that, you know what I'm saying, it's like, like throwing darts, you know, so he's very, very, very special quarterback. Um, and, you know, you just got to try to keep him, try to confuse him. You know, he's been in the league for such a long time, you just can't let him know what you're in before the play starts because then he'll tear you apart. Is his release time what makes him uh, so dangerous? It's player? it's a little bit. Of, I mean, it's everything. I mean, it's his release time. It's the flick of the wrist. He can just effortlessly throw it 50 yards, 60 yards. Um, the pinpoint accuracy. Uh, he kind he knows where he wants to go. His uh, familiarity with his re receivers. You know, um, especially Devonte. Um, it's just you can't you can't you can't teach what Aaron got with uh, where he can place the ball. Do you feel any pressure that the defense get? Him? It's not even play perfect. We I mean, we just feel like we have one of the best defenses in the NFL, and there's no reason why we shouldn't play to that level. Um, no matter when we are placed on the field, making sure they don't score touchdowns, always giving up field goals. Um, control, we can control. We want to be the best defense in the league. We know our offense is uh, going through a little bit right now, but it's a team game, and uh, we know we have the capable people on defense to not let other teams score a lot of points. So that's our main goal: make sure we just control, we can control, and uh, stop stop people from scoring on us. I know you got that pick against Brady a couple years ago in high school. Are those special, like when you could play against a guy like a Rodgers or a Brady, and you, know, you get one that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, always just trying to get a pick to, to, uh, for your team is the, the biggest thing. But, you know, like I said, too, going against these dudes, he's one of the best ever. He's my favorite quarterback ever. So getting one against him will be special. Yes. I mean, I love Ben to death, but, you know, I'm just, just being honest. Uh, he's, I, ben, is, ben is definitely up there, but A-Rod, he's just my – I like A-Rod more than Tom. I like him more than Patrick Mahomes. I just like A-Rod. Joe, did you have any reaction to what uh, Tyler Boyd said, his comments? What did he say? about, you know, quitting and you guys maybe quitting on that game last week? Nah. 
I have nothing to say. No. So much appreciation for the quarterback position. You know, they touching the ball every single snap. Um, they are obviously their coaches on the field, and especially when you get to the level like Ben, like Tom Brady, like Aaron Rodgers, they know, they've seen everything, they've been everywhere before, they can make all the throws. It's literally having another coach on the field, so you just got to be on, your, on the top of your game to make sure you can execute. And he's saying you're thrown into the fire with a good metaphor of how this season has started. I don't think so. I think I was told, um, I mean, a while ago to be ready once I was drafted. Um, so I don't think I was thrown in the fire at all. I mean, I tried to prepare for this uh, all throughout camp and, and mini camp. It has to be a little overwhelming, doesn't it? Um, I, I don't think so. Uh, I have a great defensive line and a great coaching staff, great teammates that are helping me prepare. So. Did it happen for you sooner than you expected? Um, possibly. Um, I mean, I always knew it was an option, but I mean, when it when it all unfolds and it comes to reality, I guess yeah, possibly maybe. Um, just just getting better every week. Uh, the way I study film, the way I break down my opponents uh, mentally, um, just staying square and pass pro, and, and just just technical things. Definitely, definitely. The slow start you guys have had running the ball, you know, how frustrating is that? Uh, it's frustrating um, just because we, we put a lot on ourselves and um, we know we have to get the running game going. We haven't performed and we got to do better. We know that. The talk from Mike Tomlin and from Ben Roethlisberger, it kind of collectively has been just eliminating those penalties. How do you guys as a line work on that week to week in practice to make sure that those aren't being um, Just being mentally locked in every play, every rep. Um, I think I think it starts with that, honestly. And how does uh, Mike Tomlin said the other day that cohesion is going to take a while? How do you expedite that? Can you expedite that? That part of the process of um, the Well, Ben always talks about coming together, and um, I think that's that that's what we need to do as an offensive line and as an offense, just come together and um, play for one another. And first practice back for Zach today. Uh, how did he look out there? Uh, it was great to have him back. Um, I, I really don't know what else to say on that. So. His mood, does that mean his mood he, he's happy, man. He's, he's always happy. Zach's always an a uplifting guy. So, I mean, whether he's out there or not, he's, he's going to be Zach. Definitely. Vocally, um, just by example, by the way he works, um, he tries to set a good example for me and Kendrick, uh, being young guys and kind of take us under his wing. So he's been good with that for sure. What kind of things are you guys doing to get that cohesion to try to come together um, just, just bonding and gelling, um, trying to trying to hang out outside of this, get to know each other. Um, that way, when we're on the field, a lot of things just come by nature. Comparatively, how, how, how do you feel right now? I mean, probably felt like a rookie in that opening game. You still feel like a rookie now? Uh, less of a rookie, I'll say that. Um, I think I had some stumps, um, but I mean, those guys get paid too. So we got to move on next play. Does it help to have another rookie going through kind of the same thing with you, another rookie starter? You guys can kind of throw things off of each other? I mean, yeah, I guess you could say, especially with it being Kendrick, me and him are super close, so I guess you could say that. And a big part of Coach Tomlin's message after the game Sunday and he said it again yesterday was that you guys are just absorbing the negativity of being one and two right now. What, what does he mean by that? Is that hard to do as a rookie who's you know, new to this level and kind of everything that comes with that? Not at all. Um, I think it's just taking the initiative and, and and understanding that you haven't performed and we have to perform. It's that simple. Yeah, there were fourth and ten pairs in Hodgie. Um, both Tom and Ben said it was supposed to be a screen pass, but nobody was out in front. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't recall. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I really don't know. I'm sorry. You were talking about like film study with uh, Coach Clem. After the games, is he a teacher or is he a yeller in, in that situation? He's a teacher. Um, I think sometimes he, he becomes passionate, and it may seem like yelling, but it's coaching, and we all we all respect it, and um, we know we have to get better with it. A big, a big point of emphasis in this offseason was having an edge on this O line. How much does that intangible kind of help you guys through kind of a rough start that, that there's been this season? Um. Just, I mean, like I said earlier, just by staying together and playing for one another, coming today, coming every day to work, and um, and just getting better at the little things, um, watching film, um, even the things as small as our walkthroughs, um, 
just trying to be detailed in everything that we do. Do you guys have an edge on the field? Do you still feel that some of that the nastiness that was such a point of emphasis in training camp? Definitely, I, de I definitely do. I think we just need to be more consistent on displaying that, especially on Sundays. Going over to play right tackle well, training too. camp, did that help you overall as a tackle? I think it did. Um, it pushed me through some adversity, and I needed that. Uh, I think I was just comfortable at left tackle, um, and I, I think I needed to experience some adversity. I think the coaches wanted to see how, how I acted towards it. Um, I think it was good for me. Who or what stands out to you about the Packers front from what you've seen thus far? Um, they're a high energy front, a lot of high motor guys, 3-4 um, base defense. So we know they got some big outside linebackers that like to rest the edge and some, some big guys in the middle and interior that, that like to rest the passer as well. So they're going to get after it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Yes, sir.